Hello everyone, quick video today, inspired by the 1 billion rows challenge actually. So we've got a vector of people's names and ages in tuples. Now what if we wanted to sort them by age and then print the names? We could do oldest or youngest. So the oldest people equal people. And we do into iter, which will consume and then we do sorted by. Sorted by comes from iter tools. So you need to do cargo add iter tools. We're passing in A and B. And what we're saying is compare using board. And then we're borrowing B1. So because we're using dot one, that actually means use this part of the tuple. So we're just basically comparing A with B. And then afterwards, what we're going to do is just get rid of the age because we don't need the age to, for printing purposes. So this comes from here, which is the editor tools documentation. Now, here, we're doing an assert. You can either debug it or one little bonus thing I just wanted to show was rather than debug, which I'll show you debug, debug first, which will give you some output looking like that. If you'd rather have it a bit more presentable, for instance, if you were showing it to an end user, old people first, which is this which is basically the result of all that. Then we'll pass in the name, which will be person. Then we print. And that gives us Jack, Jill, Jack, Jane, John, which are 39, 30, 20, 18. So it's sorting in descending age order. One other way of reversing rather than actually swapping A and B round would actually be to use reverse. So we put in reverse, get Jill, Jack, Jane, John. Without reverse, John, Jane, Jack, Jill. So reverse is useful. Depends, depends whether you want to swap the letters or make it more explicit. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.